Well, hi, friends, and welcome to this week's version of PBJ, Prayer Bible Journal. Uh, this morning, I was reading in Matthew 11, uh, part of our Bible reading plan. And uh, at the very end of the chapter are these very, very famous verses that I'm going to read to you right now. Matthew 11, uh, verses 28 to 30. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So just a couple things about that verse. Uh, scholars believe that uh, this verse kind of came out of the, the Jewish context uh, where the Mosaic law had been interpreted and applied uh, by the Pharisees in uh, right down to the tiniest minutia. So let me give you exam an example. Uh, the Old Testament law said uh, keep the Sabbath and you do that by taking the day off, not working, and resting and worshiping. Uh, so the Pharisees had to say, well, if we're not supposed to work, what's work? And so they came up with a whole bunch of categories of work. For example, one category of work was bearing a burden. Well, then they had to ask, what constitutes a burden? And uh, so they described in hundreds and hundreds of little rules what a burden was. So for example, if a tailor stuck a needle in his robe and walked out of his house, that was carrying a burden. That was a violation of the Sabbath. If a man put in his false teeth and wore them on the Sabbath, that was carrying a burden since the false teeth were something extra. So it was uh, those kinds of rules, rule upon rule upon rule, on and on and on, that turned the Jewish law into this burden to be born, this heavy yoke, if you will. And uh, that's what Jesus was referring to here when he says, are you weary and are you burdened by religion? Well, then come to me. And, and I love what Jesus says. He says, come to me, take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For he says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light, and you're going to find rest for your souls. Uh, that phrase when he says, my yoke is easy, uh, the Greek word there means well-fitting. And uh, the idea is that uh, the yoke was fashioned just right for this particular person, or in the case of, of an oxen, an ox. Uh, and because it was well-fitting, it didn't chafe. It made it easy to carry the load because the, the, the yoke fits so well. And uh, uh, there's actually a, a legend that Jesus was famous for making yokes because he was a carpenter. He was famous for making yokes that fit perfectly. And uh, so I love this picture. Jesus is saying, take my yoke upon you. And the yoke there would have been the yoke of discipleship. In other words, come and learn from me, learn what I require of you, but understand that what I'm going to ask you to do will fit you perfectly, that in that sense it will be easy to bear, and that my load, he says, my burden is light. The, the weight that I'll put on you will be light. So here's the thing I want you to take home from this, uh, the application, if you will, is that if you're bearing a burden today, some kind of religious duty or obligation that feels weighty and heavy, that creates weariness in you, and uh, it, it feels burdensome, you're probably carrying something that Jesus never intended you to carry. That when you walk with Jesus, his yoke will fit you perfectly and his burden is light. That you will live with a sense of freedom and joy. Now that's not to say that it's always easy in the sense that we think easy but it will be fitting and it won't be burdensome or wearisome. So uh, if you find yourself burdened down by religion, once again, you'll hear me say, Jesus didn't come to make us more religious. He came to make us more alive. Lord, thank you so much that you lifted that heavy burden, that yoke of religious obligation off of us. And instead of giving us your yoke, a yoke that fits us and a burden that's light, that's joyful to carry. Help us live in to that, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, everybody.